Relatively little is known about the Renaissance painter Giorgione, but now the exhibition that bears his name is telling his story. Giorgione was responsible for many ideas that changed the course of art. His work is now on display here at the Royal Academy in London to shed new light on a pivotal and yet little understood moment in the history of art. He may have only lived until his early 30s, but the legacy of Italian painter Giorgione has started to be made clear. However, with so few works able to be definitively attributed to him, it's been no easy task. To do an exhibition on the first, on the beginning of the 16th century is, is, a, is a very brave endeavour because we know so little about this period. Um, but what we tried to do was to make an exhibition about the, that pivotal moment, the transition from Giovanni Bellini's from the 15th century really to, to Titian, to the age of Titian or what would become the golden age of Venetian painting. So we wanted to look at that um, uh, beginning, the transition from Gio Giovanni Bellini to Titian um, and our protagonist though in the story that we want to tell is, is Giorgione. <laughs> Aside from the undoubted quality of his work, Giorgione is widely credited as being the first to work in landscape, inspiring lovers of Venetian painting to take notice of a new art form. Exactly what the story is, we don't know. And um, this tree here in the center of the composition is a compositional device drawing our attention um, uh, to these two figures, but it also takes center stage. And so the landscape now becomes the protagonist. And at the, at the time, the genre landscape didn't, didn't exist, but it's the first time that paintings like this were described, or like the Tempesta, were described in inventories as a landscape with figures. Center stage in the exhibition is a portrait entitled La Vecchia, but it's not without controversy, as its subject raises many unanswered questions. Who is she? Could it be his mother? There's no way of, no way of knowing. Um, but there is sort of an indicator, which is this piece of paper here on the left, it says cold temple with time. And what does it mean that it is a, an older woman and the gesture that she's making? It's good that you mention the hand. It's an absolutely beautiful detail, a wonderfully painted hand, and she's pointing to herself in a very sort of reflective mode. In the portraits of, of younger men and, and um, largely of men that we can see in this exhibition, and they're meant to represent somebody in, you know, with attributes and sort of showing them, you know, really they're presenting themselves. And this is a much quieter picture, a much more moving picture. Um, and it's meant to make us sort of reflect rather than to um, be impressed by her presence. Even the, interpreter, uh, the expression on her face and, and what mm. can be in, in, interpreted from that isn't necessarily uh, one that you'd associate with a, with a portrait, especially of, like the ones you've seen elsewhere. Such a wonderful sort of um, enigmatic moment. She's, her mouth is open. She's probably saying something to us, but we don't know what it is. So we're left to ponder what, what it is that she might say to us. And the most beautiful detail, I think, is the wrinkles around her eyes. And she's actually smiling. That's what makes her so warm and likable. We immediately um, warm to her. So much speculation surrounds Giorgione and what he actually painted. The debate continues even amongst those who studied him and they've been encouraging others to do the same. Art historians over the last hundred, at least, if not, you know, 500 years, have disagreed about the attributions of many of these pictures. Um, and so what we're trying to do is we try to present one case, which is this picture here, um, the so-called Justiniani portrait from Berlin. It's a picture that uh, emerged in the 19th century. It was identified as a young work by, by Giorgione and is generally accepted by most scholars. But there are some scholars who disagree and who think this might actually be by the young Titian. So we've asked two scholars to present their case in, in favour of Giorgione and in favour of Titian uh, online. 16th century Venice was a vibrant, colourful revolution of creativity where artists such as Bellini, Titian and now Giorgione had chances to shine. The Royal Academy's exhibition showcases artwork which led to the start of a golden era. Adam Reed, TRT World, London.